Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Season 19, Sister Wives star Cody Brown is prepared to reconcile with his elder children. He has neglected his children severely and made some serious parenting errors. The TLC personality has prioritized his younger children over his older ones failing to be a good father to them. Cody was often reprimanded by Christine, Janelle, and Mary's children for putting Robin's children above their own. The father blamed his children for the animosity in their relationship and never acknowledged his own faults. He recently celebrated his 55th birthday and has fresh aspirations for his new life. Following the family fallout, Cody has found a new purpose in life. He acknowledged that he wanted to be a devoted father once more. Could he accomplish that? Did he try to make amends with his children before to Garrison's passing? Has he shown regret to them? Sister wives, prior to Garrison's passing, Cody tried to regain the favor of his children. In season 19, Cody Brown, star of Sister Wives, must make new admissions. In March of this year, he lost his son Garrison, who committed suicide. Since Garrison's passing, the TLC star has remained silent about their relationship. Cody recently made references to his intentions to make amends with his older children. In the most recent episode, he talked candidly about his chat with Janelle. Talking about reconciliation between Janelle and me is a bull's asterisk asterisk T-pipe dream for both of us, he said. The TLC star wanted to speak with his ex-wife because he wanted to be liked by their children. The latter, however, believed they no longer shared a universe and simply wished to talk about their Coyote Pass property. Additionally, Cody acknowledges that he longs to once more be a devoted father. Sister Wives, Cody's 55th birthday has given him a new purpose in life. Cody Brown, star of Sister Wives, hasn't had a good relationship with his elder kids for years. They have stated that they are no longer in need of a father figure. But in the most recent season, Cody seemed to be making every effort to improve his relationships. He recently talked about his intentions to improve as a father to his 18 children. He always had a purpose in life, and he wanted to be a loving father. Onward and upward with the goals in life, and making my family whole again, the polygamist wrote. Cody acknowledged his earlier naivete, while considering his errors. He constantly imagines his oldest children, and their partners living in houses across the street. The TLC star also broke down in tears, as he talked about his dreams for his family. All Cody wanted was to fulfill his aspirations and spend time with his family. And he didn't know if his children would concur. According to people, he hoped his children would accept his proposal. Some of them wouldn't even speak to him he knew. Cody is well aware that things might not go as planned. He was prepared to try though. He also aspired to be a better father to his 18 children. Some of his children continued to criticize him on social media suggesting that the TLC star has not yet reached his ambitions. For more tea on Cody and his new life mission, keep an eye on the TV season and spoilers. Could it be that Christine Brown and Robin are more akin than either of them knows? Some Sister Wives viewers have noted that Cody and Christine are actually very similar throughout the current seasons. The question of whether Christine is more like Robin has now been raised by another fan. Other admirers raised their voices and shared their thoughts. Get the inside scoop by reading on. Are Robin and Christine Brown similar? Fans of Sister Wives are aware of how tense Robin and Christine Brown's relationship is. Additionally, their chances of ever getting back together are slim at this point. However, as season 19 progresses, at least one fan believes Robin and Christine are remarkably similar. Has anyone else observed the striking resemblance between Christine and Robin's features in the latest season 19 promotional images? On Reddit, a Sister Wives fan inquired. While browsing YouTube, I came across this thumbnail and was immediately struck by how similar their looks are from the nose-down thinking face. I had never noticed it before. By any chance, are they distantly related? A close-up of this year's promotional image, trimmed to highlight Christine and Robin's jawlines, is attached. While not entirely agreeing with the OP's arguments, other Redditors pointed out that Robin and Christine might be distant relatives. After all, both of their families are polygamous. 
As another person noted, it was simply the way the designers altered the image. Included were comments. A wreath is the polygamous family tree. Christine is from two of the biggest families who practice polygamy. You can see that they are all connected in some way if you look at those family trees. They are relatives, yet they are quite apart. I'm not familiar with the definitions of cousining. Red Heart, they simply utilize Photoshop to enhance their appearance, which is why the identical facial adjustments have been made. For instance, soften the jaw, lips, and chin. It's unlikely that the women will be able to reconcile. Christine will first present her lover David Willey to Cody and Robin in a future episode. Fans are already aware that Cody and Robin were not invited to the wedding of Christine and David, who later got married. Is it possible for everyone to set aside their differences and get along for the day? Fans will have to pay attention to find out. How do you feel about this debate on Reddit? What similarities exist between Christine Brown and Robin? Or is it merely the OP's imagination? Post your own ideas and opinions in the comments section below. Make sure you tune in to TLC every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time to watch the latest episodes of Sister Wives. For more news and updates, continue to follow TV shows Ace on the Internet. Cody Brown, the patriarch of Sister Wives, has been transparent with his ex-partners about his intentions, including the dark reason he persisted in pursuing Janelle Brown even after she turned him down. Prior to their divorces in 2021 and 2022, Cody was married to Janelle, Christine, and Mary Brown for more than 30 years. Since then, he has had difficulty keeping up his relationships with his co-parents outside of his marriages. His connection with his ex-partners and adult children is still damaged from years of mistrust and misunderstanding, even though he still gets along well with his surviving wife Robin Brown when it comes to their younger children. Cody revealed in a recent Sister Wives episode that his constant desire to reconcile with Janelle stems from his children's opinion of him rather than from romantic feelings for her. The most reluctant of Cody's ex-girlfriends to formally file for divorce and move on, Janelle revealed that she's so happy that I don't foresee a long-term thing for us as a result of his manipulation. Janelle clarified, I don't even know who he is anymore. Cody, for his part, is still upset with his children, saying that they've shut me out and they will keep doing so without Janelle's support. Even though Cody has been attempting to use his relationship with Janelle to further his connections with his children since before their breakup, it's evident that he's growing increasingly desperate as it becomes plain that the children have little desire in making amends. To put it mildly, Cody has acted insensitively toward his adult children, and when the children are asked about their ties with their father on sister wives, it becomes evident that not much, if anything, occurs between them outside of the camera. Most of the Brown children want their father to sincerely apologize. Even though Cody has no desire in speaking with her or offering an apology, his treatment of Janelle has been difficult to witness without the extra factor of him using their possible reconciliation as leverage. Cody seems to believe that he will gain favor with the children if he is in Janelle's good graces. Even though Janelle has explicitly told him that she doesn't want a romantic relationship with him again, Cody feels it to be true so deeply that it has motivated him to seek her. However, this is probably not the case at all. Although not surprising, his pushiness is overpowering to observe. Even though Cody appears to realize that his behavior is what first caused his children to become estranged from him, it is evident from his altered account of sister wives' events that he does not hold himself responsible for their alienation. Cody is the parent in this case and has an obligation to seek relationships with his children if he desires them, even though it does take two people to separate. Cody, the patriarch of sister wives, should concentrate on repairing his connections with his adult children and having direct conversations with them instead of attempting to win back his ex-wife in order to gain favor with his children. We have three straightforward words for Janelle Brown in the wake of this Sunday Sister Wives episode. You. Proceed. Girl. As was previously mentioned, Janelle once yelled at Robin Brown while she and Robin's husband were having a disagreement. He also happens to be Janelle's ex-husband, of course. Janelle discussed why she broke up with Cody after 30 years of being spiritually married in a contentious sit-down. 
Janelle addressed the former polygamist, saying, You complain about my independence, and I will complain about your selfishness, and, you being self-absorbed, you are somewhat. Is that in the past two years with the divorce? Cody then asked for clarity on the remark. This sparked a dispute from Janelle, who stood by her principles and her right viewpoint, and told her terrible ex. No, perhaps you were always. Janelle also criticized Cody for not being more involved with the six children he shares with her. She said, The kids are all feeling very estranged from you. I can't be in the middle of all the nuances. This moment was set months before the final catastrophe, which occurred in March 2024 when Janelle and Cody's son, Garrison, committed suicide at the age of 25. As far as we can tell, Cody was not talking to Garrison when he passed away. On this November 3rd episode of the TLC reality show, Janelle discussed her personal feelings for her estranged husband and acknowledged that she still had some very strong ones. Janelle said to Cody, I don't think we even exist in the same universe anymore. I think you're fantastic. Additionally, I continue to get the impression that you have some sort of small hook in me whenever we speak. But I don't imagine a long-term relationship with you because I've been so content without you. On this episode, Janelle, who now resides in North Carolina, made it clear to Cody that the two were done as a couple. Cody just kept demonstrating his awful and egotistical nature in his own confessional. The 18-year-old father asserted, I discuss making amends with her because I want to be in good standing with my kids again. However, I am aware that making amends with her would necessitate engaging in a power struggle in which I granted her complete control over the relationship. And although Cody stated that he believed it would be fair for Janelle to have all the authority because the rest of their marriage was unbalanced in his favor, he added, But that doesn't interest me. He isn't, of course. Children are alarmed by sister wives Christine's wedding plans. They think she's hurrying to the altar. Tensions increase in the Sister Wives episode airing November 3rd as Christine Brown organizes a wedding that leaves her children wondering about her pace. And Janelle Brown hires a lawyer to challenge Cody Brown about property concerns. Additionally, Robin claims that the other spouses believe she is casting evil spells on Cody. Christine is planning a wedding, but her children are growing up too quickly. The action begins in Christine Brown's busy house where her children get together for Hawaiian haystacks, a family custom. Inexplicably, Gwenlyn is not present. The show's true highlight, though, is Christine's passionate kiss as she greets her boyfriend, David Woolley. Really, Christine, calm down a bit. You're acting desperate for love. Some of my children get along well with David. It's obvious that Christine is aware of the high stakes when she tells the cameras. Some of my kids are, like, on the fence a bit. Paid on her kid is meeting David for the first time. And let's just say he doesn't hold back. Referring to David as Richard, he playfully maintains that he is too old for his mother. After that, the family immediately starts talking about the wedding as Aspen asks David what he thinks of the locations they had looked at. Ever the proactive spouse, David is already considering a place in Moab and has even taken a risk by asking Christine's father for her hand in marriage. Dad responds, yes, of course, since who wouldn't prefer a polar bear to Cody? With his ability to crack jokes and understand their peculiar sense of humor, David seems to blend in perfectly with Christine and her children. However, Cody, he doesn't give a damn about Christine's partner. Janelle joins the conversation, admitting that she has never met David, but that she has heard he is a good man because he has raised eight children by himself. She smiles sarcastically, probably pondering whether a similar circumstance would help her own dating life. Isabel doesn't hold back when she expresses her worry that her mother is going too quickly, and Aspen, in a talking head, agrees saying, I am surprised by how fast things are going. Can you blame them? Christine even suggests that she and David acquire matching leather leggings and tattoos. What a fast-paced romance. Cody's 55th birthday is today at the Cody and Robin Brown compound but he's drowning in existential dread rather than cake and balloons. Robin discloses that after his divorces from Christine, Janelle, and Mary, Cody is terrified that she will leave him. Robin admits, Cody has been a very lost, angry, and upset person over the last few years, and I have to acknowledge it for what it is. It sounds like someone needs a hug, 
It's just him in a painful place. And him in a place of fear that I will leave him too. Cody considers his interesting life and the midlife crisis he's going through in a confessional. I was thinking, while well, I'm halfway through, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? On my birthday five years ago, he thinks. After all these upheavals, he acknowledges that he is having trouble with his ideals and appears to be striving to find his course. Cody finds it difficult to understand that he is no longer a member of a poly household. He acknowledges that I've had a struggle because my big picture got shattered. Even though he says that his life with Robin is a safe, kind and sweet place, he still feels guilty about not spending more time with his other kids. It's impossible to have it both ways, Cody. When Janelle and Cody first meet, they quickly talk about their joint Coyote Pass property. Before a balloon payment is due in three months, she wants Cody to buy her out. What a ticking clock. Eager to preserve what little of the family history is left, Cody tries to control the topic by bringing up the possibility of them getting back together and teasing the prospect of Janelle and Robin building on the land together. However, Janelle makes it quite apparent that she no longer wishes to be involved in Cody's life. Cody is taken aback by her candor, and the conversation shifts to Robin. Cody in the classic. You can just feel the tension in the air as Janelle tells him. I always felt like your life centered so much around Robin's house. Janelle won't have any of it, even though Cody admits that Robin's house has served as its safe haven for him. This occurs each time I speak to him, or the kids discuss Robin with dad. Clearly agitated, she confesses, it's like he just doesn't want to go there. Janelle is even more enraged by Cody's attempts to minimize the matter, since she believes he is focusing on Robin and ignoring everyone else. She contends, that's a part of being a husband in a plural marriage, everyone must be able to be heard equally. Cody dismisses their discussion of reconciliation during a confessional by saying, Janelle has a card. It reads victim. She enjoys playing it. Naturally, Janelle responds that she's just attempting to defend herself and dislikes being negatively characterized. Janelle says plainly, I don't think we even exist in the same universe anymore. When asked about their future, it's obvious that their romance has ended, and despite Cody's best efforts to act differently, it's time to confront the facts. Robin denies receiving any preferential treatment from Cody in a talking head confessional. She says to the cameras, I feel like I get blamed anytime Cody makes a choice and they don't like it. There is this new idea that I am doing evil spells on Cody and that he is just under my control, and it is absurd. However, Mary Brown is taking action after her divorce. She is prepared to forge a new career for herself, particularly now that she has been formally released from Cody. She declares with pride, I've been very independent. You know, I have been really confident in what I've been doing. Additionally, I've had to sort of mature into it. How charming that she is converting an ancient family property into a bed and breakfast. Mary gives us a sneak glimpse at Lizzie's heritage, a renovated gym and office building in Paro in Utah. She's obviously excited to claim the multipurpose room as her own, complete with weights and mats. I'm going to go in there and just do whatever I want, whether that's working out, working, or just being myself, she says. After examining a recently remodeled dining room, Mary offers the brilliant advice. If they don't want you at their table, make your own. Go lady. She asks her guests to join her at her newly set table, signifying her new beginning, reversing the direction of her history. I don't have to be somewhere where I'm not wanted, she says in a confessional. I will have a table of my own. I am thrilled with the life I am building and the table I have, and I will have the people that want to be with me. Christine Brown and David Woolley finally honeymooning. Why Sister Wives fans are thrilled, and what's next for the newlyweds? Introduction Christine Brown and David Woolley take their long-awaited honeymoon. One year after their wedding, Sister Wives stars Christine Brown and David Woolley have finally embarked on their romantic honeymoon adventure. Despite their busy schedules filled with filming, family time, and work trips, Christine and David are now setting off to enjoy uninterrupted time as newlyweds. In this in-depth look, we'll cover every detail from the fan reactions to speculations about their mystery destination and what the future holds for the TLC couple. Falling in love at full speed, the Christine and David romance.
Christine and David's love story is nothing short of a whirlwind. From falling in love quickly to sealing the deal with a wedding, this chapter explores the beginnings of their relationship, including how the TLC star found her soulmate after years with Cody Brown. Delayed but dreamy, why their honeymoon took over a year to happen. Fans have been wondering why Christine and David postponed their honeymoon for so long. This chapter delves into the reasons for the delay, including their family commitments, TLC filming schedules, and other unexpected hurdles. Honeymoon speculation. Where are they going? Where could Christine and David be headed for their romantic getaway? This chapter covers fan theories on the destination. Drawing from the hints provided in Christine's Instagram posts, whether they're bound for a tropical paradise or a European adventure. Privacy and paparazzi, why the couple kept their location secret. To maintain some privacy on their first trip alone, as husband and wife, Christine and David haven't disclosed their destination. Here, we discuss why many public figures, especially reality TV stars, often choose to keep details of their personal lives under wraps and how the couple is managing fan expectations. Family life and future plans for Christine and David. With their blended family, Christine and David are never short on love or excitement. This chapter examines how their families have bonded over the past year, with Christine's children and David's extended family coming together to support this new marriage. Why fans love the Christine and David love story. Christine's happiness has been contagious for Sister Wives fans who've been cheering her on through her ups and downs. This chapter showcases some of the best reactions from fans who've sent countless messages of support and encouragement as she embarks on her honeymoon. Honeymoon Packing List What TLC fans think Christine and David need for the ultimate getaway? What do fans think Christine and David packed for this mystery honeymoon? Based on Christine's past travel posts and her outdoorsy personality, We'll speculate on the essentials they might have brought for their adventure. Fans' best wishes and heartfelt messages for the couple. Christine's Instagram comments section has been flooded with fans sending love and blessings. This chapter features a collection of these heartfelt messages and well wishes, illustrating the immense support for the sister wives star and her new husband. A year of marriage, the couple's best moments since their wedding. Christine and David's first year as a married couple has been filled with memorable moments. Here, we revisit some of their sweetest posts, public appearances, and family gatherings that have made their first year as newlyweds so special. How Sister Wives Season 19 showcases Christine and David's journey. Fans have loved watching Christine's journey on Sister Wives, and Season 19 is expected to be no exception. This chapter discusses how the TLC show has chronicled their relationship giving fans a closer look at Christine's happiness with David. Social media reactions. Why fans are so invested in Christine's happiness. Christine's fans have been vocal about how thrilled they are to see her happy. This chapter delves into the social media frenzy surrounding her honeymoon announcement, with fans celebrating her journey toward love and independence. The honeymoon we thought they already took. The real story behind their travels. With Christine and David traveling so often, Many fans assumed they had already gone on a honeymoon. This chapter uncovers why their recent trips weren't official honeymoon getaways and what made this trip different. Christine's Instagram clues. What her honeymoon post reveals about the couple's next adventure. In her Instagram post, Christine shared a subtle clue by showing her passport with David. We'll break down what this detail might mean for fans trying to guess their destination and discuss the significance of the photo to her followers. Why the Sister Wives star needed a break from cameras and drama. After years of filming Sister Wives, Christine is no stranger to the cameras or the associated drama. In this chapter, we explore why a private getaway is crucial for the couple to reconnect without distractions. Romantic escapes for newlyweds, possible destinations for Christine and David. From Italy to the Maldives, there are many romantic honeymoon destinations Christine and David could have chosen. This chapter explores some of the most popular options and speculates on which would be the perfect fit for the couple. Christine's path to happiness after Cody Brown. Christine's decision to leave her marriage to Cody marked the beginning of her journey toward a happier life. Here, we revisit the steps she's taken to build a fulfilling future and how she's found joy with David. 
Christine's transformation, how she's embraced self-care in wellness post-divorce. Christine has not only found love, but also embraced a self-care journey. From fitness to mental wellness, this chapter delves into how she's been taking care of herself. The couple's shared interests, what makes their bond so strong? One reason for Christine and David's strong bond is their shared love of adventure. This chapter explores the interests they have in common and how these shared hobbies have brought them closer together. Preparing for a future together. Are there new plans in the works? Fans have speculated about Christine and David's future plans, from potential joint business ventures to relocating. Here, we'll discuss what the future might hold for the couple. A new chapter for Christine Brown. How the honeymoon marks the beginning of an era. The long-awaited honeymoon symbolizes a fresh chapter in Christine's life. This final chapter reflects on her journey and how this trip serves as a powerful new beginning for her and David. Wishing Christine and David the honeymoon of a lifetime. Christine Brown and David Willey's honeymoon is more than just a vacation. It's a testament to the joy of finding love and new beginnings. As they enjoy their well-deserved getaway. Fans can't wait to see what this exciting new chapter holds for the couple. Here's wishing Christine and David a honeymoon filled with love, laughter, and endless happiness. Janelle and Christine Brown, sister wives forever. Why they're closer than ever after leaving Cody. Introduction, sister wives forever. Janelle and Christine Brown reignite their bond after divorcing Cody. Janelle and Christine Brown may have left their marriages to Cody behind, but their bond with each other has only grown stronger. As fans prepare for the premiere of Sister Wives Season 19, Janelle recently shared a heartfelt Instagram post highlighting her special friendship with Christine and hinting at an exciting new chapter in their lives. This is the inspiring story of how Janelle and Christine, despite taking different life paths, continue to support each other as true sister wives. Still Sister Wives, the Instagram post that warmed fans' hearts. In an Instagram post, Janelle Brown called Christine her sister wife for life and hinted at new adventures on the horizon. This chapter unpacks the heartfelt message, showing fans the enduring friendship these two women share, even after their divorces. Janelle and Christine's journey through plural marriage and beyond. Before leaving Cody, Janelle and Christine's relationship was marked by years of shared experiences, challenges, and triumphs. Here, we explore how they built a bond that transcended marriage, forming a sisterly friendship that would last long after their departure from plural marriage. Different dreams, same path. How Janelle and Christine continue to support each other's goals. Despite having different ambitions and lifestyles, Christine and Janelle continue to uplift and encourage each other. This chapter highlights how their support manifests, from co-parenting and family life to personal growth and new relationships. The fan reactions, why Janelle and Christine's friendship inspires so many. Since Janelle's Instagram post, fans have been pouring out messages of support, admiring the strong bond between the former sister wives. We'll take a look at some of the most heartwarming fan reactions and discuss why viewers are so invested in Janelle and Christine's friendship. Leaving Cody, a look back at the decisions that changed their lives. Christine and Janelle's decisions to leave Cody were milestones in their lives marking the start of a new chapter. Here, we recount the journey they each took to arrive at their choice to end their plural marriage and start a life of independence. From plural marriage to a powerful friendship, how Janelle and Christine redefined sisterhood. When Christine left Cody, her move sparked conversations about the true meaning of sister wives. This chapter explores how Janelle and Christine redefined sisterhood outside the boundaries of marriage and what their relationship means to fans. Janelle and Christine's family dynamics, how they co-parent and stay connected. With a shared family and years of raising children together, Janelle and Christine are dedicated to keeping their children close, even as they live separate lives. This chapter delves into how they continue to co-parent and stay connected for the sake of their family. A new chapter, how Christine's relationship with David Woolley impacts her friendship with Janelle. Christine's relationship with David Woolley has added a new dimension to her life. This chapter looks at how her new romance has influenced her friendship with Janelle and what David's addition to the family dynamic means for their future. Adventure awaits. 
What could Janelle and Christine's next adventure be? Fans are buzzing with excitement over Janelle's mention of a new adventure with Christine. This chapter explores possible future endeavors for the two women, from travel plans to new business ventures, and what fans hope to see next. Why fans love the sisterly bond between Janelle and Christine. In a world where many friendships fade after major life changes, Janelle and Christine's friendship remains rock solid. This chapter highlights why fans admire their relationship and the lessons they learn from their unbreakable bond. Navigating life's new chapters. How Janelle and Christine stay true to themselves. Life after plural marriage is different for each of them. This chapter focuses on the steps they're each taking to stay authentic and pursue their dreams, offering insights into their personal growth and evolving goals. The strength of sisterhood. How Janelle and Christine have each other's backs. After years of shared life experiences, Janelle and Christine understand each other's struggles better than anyone else. Here, we dive into specific moments that show how these women support and uplift each other. The new normal Christine and Janelle's journey as single women. Now that both women are free from their marriages to Cody, they're exploring life as independent women. This chapter looks at how they're navigating single life and rediscovering themselves in this new chapter. Season 19 Teasers What can fans expect from Janelle and Christine in the new season? With Sister Wives Season 19 on the horizon, fans are eager to see more of Janelle and Christine's journey. This chapter provides teasers of what fans can expect from the upcoming season, including how their friendship plays a major role, how Janelle and Christine's friendship defies expectations of plural marriage. Most people assume plural marriage bonds dissolve after a divorce, but Janelle and Christine are proving otherwise. This chapter discusses how their friendship challenges stereotypes and sets new expectations for what sister wives can be. Public Reactions Why Fans Root for Janelle and Christine's Independence Fans worldwide celebrate Janelle and Christine's independence and strength. Here, we explore how their fans express admiration for their decisions to leave Cody and support each other's journeys. Janelle and Christine's influence on viewers, inspiring others to seek healthy friendships. Janelle and Christine's bond serves as a model for others seeking supportive, loyal friendships. This chapter explores how their relationship is motivating fans to build similar connections in their own lives. Future plans, could Janelle and Christine have their own spin-off? Many fans have been vocal about wanting to see a spin-off centered around Janelle and Christine. This chapter delves into the possibility of a new show focused on their adventures and what it could mean for the Sister Wives franchise. Building a life without Cody. How Janelle and Christine are creating happiness on their own terms. Free from the confines of plural marriage, Janelle and Christine are building lives that reflect their true selves. This chapter focuses on how they're embracing independence and pursuing what makes them happy. Sisterhood redefined. Janelle and Christine's legacy of love and support. Janelle and Christine have shown that sisterhood can thrive even without a shared marriage. This chapter reflects on the legacy they're building and what it means for the future of friendships among former sister wives. Celebrating the power of friendship and new beginnings. Janelle and Christine Brown's story is a testament to the strength of friendship and the power of new beginnings. As they continue on this journey together, Fans are excited to watch them embrace their futures with confidence, courage, and unwavering support for one another.